Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be giving you four reasons why an iPad will make you a better cybersecurity professional. I've been using an iPad Pro for a few years now and it's helped me so much in general productivity, organization, and I really do believe it's made me a better professional. So number one, taking notes on an iPad is so convenient and honestly has changed my note taking. Using the Apple Pencil to take notes and a note taking app like GoodNotes allows you to structure your notes in a really good way that's kind of easily referenceable and conveniently separates different topics you are studying or projects you're involved in or might be leading it's also great for to-do lists you can use different colors different images have different covers or page backgrounds export to pdfs sign documentation on there and like annotate stuff highlight things and of course easily kind of share all your work and export it out in different forms formats overall it's really helped me with my productivity and it's so nice not carrying a ton of books or notes or notepads and pens and pencils everywhere i go now point two reading on an ipad is so much better than reading a book primarily because it makes it so easy to kind of reference information for later use so i primarily read a lot of non-fiction cybersecurity kind of books and content, articles, posts, PDFs, etc. You've got the Kindle app and you've also got um, Apple Books amongst others. And it's so convenient to kind of be able to read on something, annotate, add notes, quickly switch to another screen, take notes in a notebook. And overall it increases my retention and the useful information I can use because I can easily reference something later on and organize what I have read into different areas. Now point three, browsing and research. Now browsing and research is an essential part of cybersecurity. You are constantly online looking at things and reading researching and having that kind of touch screen smooth research ability just makes things so smooth and on top of that you can easily save export bookmark open up certain pages in like note taking apps screenshot pinch zoom all those kind of features and you can even add like specific websites or urls to your kind of home screen so you can quickly just open them up conveniently browsing in general just feels so good on the ipad to be honest it's just a really kind of nice smooth experience and makes it more enjoyable kind of researching and going online and it's so useful to kind of just capture vital information just so easily point four rss feeds rss feeds are used to pull lots of information and blogs from various different sites into one place which is essential because you need to kind of stay up to date with what's going on within the industry and i use feedly personally but i mean there's plenty of great apps and on the ipad it just makes it really easy just to kind of stay up to date and i actually enjoy using it i do use it on my phone as well but I, you know i don't really take a deep dive on my phone it's just maybe quickly looking at something but on the ipad it's that nice kind of browsing smooth experience using it and honestly, I actually look forward to checking my RSS feed. So those are the kind of the main things I use them for. I'll be honest, I'm not a power user. There's plenty of features I don't use and some that I do use that I haven't mentioned on here, but I feel like those are the top four points that has increased my productivity, my learning, my efficiency, and it just makes a kind of digital life more convenient having um, an iPad, which is essentially like your little mini computer to do things that you're not necessarily gonna pull your laptop out for or go on your PC or whatever. It's just a lightweight way to quickly do stuff, have a look at things, um, or use it on the side while you are on your laptop or PC. And it's just nice to kind of carry around and be able to take notes, write stuff down as you go, read on the train or when you're traveling. And it's also good for downtime. You can watch your series or movies. It's good for gaming. Apple Arcade's pretty cool. My son loves it. Got a few games for him to play. To be honest, the iPad's not the be all and end all. There's plenty of other good tablets out there on the market, probably at a better price too. The Pro's a bit overkill for kind of what I've suggested. You're not really maximizing the M1 chip. You're just kind of doing the bare basics, which you can get away with on a tablet. That's a fraction of the price. But I really like the Apple Pencil and the right and it's just a nice experience and using that paper mat uh, paper feel screen protector gives it that rough feeling so you actually feel like you're writing on paper rather than writing on a kind of slippery slidey screen so yeah do your research before you make a decision and purchase one but if you want to get an ipad click the link in the description i'll also link the pencil and the screen protector i use to give it that nice paper feel so you feel like you're writing on real paper and yeah like comment share and subscribe 
subscribe and I'll be interested to hear your thoughts on it. Be interested to see how other people use it day to day. Are there just some main things I use it for on a day to day basis? 